Today on the channel, we unleash the plague out of the plastic prison, that is, with Plague from McFarland Toys Spawn Line. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another McFarland Toy Spawn unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we release the plague with the plague figure. But remember, for all your spawn needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code Kyle to save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. And of course, anything over $39 does ship free. But today, we round out another spawn figure from this latest wave of spawn figures and deep cut into spawn a lot of hell spawn figures if you know about these guys at all now a lot of these guys in this wave here outside of salmon twitch were really after my time reading the spawn comic but apparently they're characters and they are cool enough and they're gonna look really good on a shelf all together and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there so without further ado let's unleash the plague in old plague spawn right here there he is big green background nice red kind of framing on the box spawn logo in green plague name there big window box a lot of stuff going on in this package that can be interesting to see 13 and below don't even think about buying one of these it's 14 and up only mcfarland toys very evil looking face over there on the side a little artwork action it's a little spawn action, a little window box there. And then on the back, got the big, big artwork piece. No blurb, anything like that. Always disappointing to me, but it is what it is. You got the spawn logo at the top as well, without further ado. Let's get the plague out. Let's unleash the plague from the plastic prison, cardboard prison. You guys know how it goes. See you later. Goodbye. Get this old spawn stand out. Maybe. 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 There it is. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Off to the races with the plague spawn. Of course, spawn stand, we've seen a million times. We don't need to see that again. And then we got the old plague. There he is in the package, looking pretty good there. Uh, let's bust him out. You know, this guy kind of gives me some Carnage vibes. Of course, we do know uh, Todd McFarlane did work on the Spider-Man uh, time frame. He was around for all that kind of stuff. Venom, you name it, the black suit. Uh, he's seen it all. He's done it all, old Todd McFarlane. And I think he takes a little bit of that uh, Spider-Man feel into some of these spawn characters into the spawn universe uh from time to time and this one really does feel like a a venom or a carnage or a symbiote of some kind is how this one does feel to me or at least looks i haven't felt it i haven't felt him yet but i'll feel him fairly soon hopefully i don't get the actual plague uh when i do feel him no uh -oh, we got one twist tie that's being a pain and go in from the front sometimes you got to go in from the front guys you got to do it and there it is. We're off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. Whoa, knocking some stuff over. That's the way it goes from time to time. Sometimes you got to crack a couple of eggs. That's just what you got to do. Uh, but we're off to the races. Let's look at these accessories first here. And we get two hands. And these are a much more subdued hand on here. Uh, very skeletal-like, very skeleton-like, very claw-like, uh, but much smaller than the hands that do come with him. Nice black with like kind of white wash over the top. Just looks very, very evil right from the get-go. And then we get one of these stand-type deals. Now, we saw this with King Spider. Uh, we saw this before with, uh, I believe, Haunt. So it's these kind of mini stands that go on there. And what I've seen so far, they don't stand on these very well, but very cool little background piece going on. Got all kinds of skulls. Skulls of the defeated enemies, of course, right there. Uh, up through spikes things like that looks really good white with a nice dark wash to it looks very evil looks very evil is what that looks like but very cool there now we get down to the actual figure and once again a bit of a small figure compared to some of the other spawn figures we've had in this line uh, it's almost like this line feels like they're trying to reset the scale of the series uh, you know shrinking it down a little bit with some of these guys some of these smaller characters so then when you get a little bit bigger character they seem even bigger omega spawn in this line is a perfect example he is not like a violator he's not even like a cyborg he's not super super deluxe he's a little bit smaller deluxe but putting him against all these smaller figures he feels like violator size so a little smoke and mirrors being worked on over there with the old mcfarland toys uh, but boy, I like this guy. This plague spawn looks really good. 
that dark black color with kind of the smoky gray accent wash to it just looks absolute evil. This guy looks like he's done some evil things. Like he's almost unleashed a plague on society. That's what he kind of looks like. Uh, but then you add that like almost spray paint. It almost looks like spray paint. That orange color in there just really, really cakes this off. And then the orange matching in his teeth, the yellow eyes, the yellow mouth against the black head. Very, very cool. Very nightmare fuel. I like this a whole lot on this guy. It just looks very evil. Feels a lot like Carnage. Looks like, like a multi-universe version of Carnage is how he really feels to me. Even down to the hands. We talked about the hands here. Much smaller hands. He's got the big razor-like hands here just clawing. He's got one with a big finger going out. Just nightmare fuel once again. Very, very cool. He's got this big back apparatus of spikes coming out of there. Very pliable, soft, so you're not going to hurt yourself on that. But that looks really cool. Adds to the figure. For being a smaller figure, this thing really pops. I really like the looks of this guy here. He is a good-looking McFarland figure. I like it a lot, but let's walk through his articulation real quick. The head back and forth, side to side. A very small head on him, which gives him a little bit more of that creepy factor, I think. Uh, arms do go all the way around like we're used to. Got a little butterfly action as well. Got the bicep cut. Got the double jointed elbows. Hands removable, of course. And he's got big, big movements on the hand, so he can get some really strange hand positions uh, if you want him to. Now he's got the hula hoop at the waist, got a little bit of the traditional waist going on. Can do those big old McFarland splits if he needs to. Double jointed knees going on, and then you get the ankles back and forth, side to side. Uh, very good movement there. So what a figure. This is just really, really interesting. This is like a lot of these McFarland figures, though, uh, in the spawn line. Uh, they're just very interesting. You see these guys on the shelf, they just really, really do catch your eye. And that's what this one does as well. Forgot to mention, he's got spikes down here on his legs. Uh, just a nice feel to him. I mean, it really does feel like carnage. That's how it kind of feels to me. And I got to think there's a little bit of an homage or a little bit of a ripoff of Carnage somewhere along the way. And how did I forget the McFarlane toe articulation? That's one of the funnest things to review in these McFarlane toys. We got the toe articulation as well. Always looking good there. I'm guessing he doesn't stand very well on this stand. Well, let's see how it goes. Uh, it's always difficult to get this. Like, you get top-heavy. It just doesn't quite work as well with these stands. I like what they're doing. I guess maybe if you use this stand in conjunction, you give him the rare double stand, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. So I guess he will stand with the double stand. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do with these. It looks a little strange, but I guess it does work. But, man, I like this guy. I like the looks of this Plague Spawn a whole lot. Uh, Nightmare Spawn, we also unboxed him on the channel. You can kind of see... Scale-wise, they just kind of work together here is what they do. They work uh, not too shabby, not too shabby with these guys together. And uh, we're really growing out the Spawn universe, getting really deep into some of these other Spawns that aren't Al Simmons. Uh, and I'm here for it. I like a little adventure, but I also want some of the more guys, uh, some of the guys that I really know, the Tremors of the world. Give me Tremor. Uh, give me some of those deep cuts from the McFarland Toys days. Bring them into the line. Bring me a giant Saber figure. Uh, there's a lot of really cool ones they could do, and I'm sure they'll get to them all eventually. Uh, but I would like to at least have one old school one mixed in with every wave. And I guess we did get that with Sam and Twitch. So what am I saying? Uh, we got Sam and Twitch, another old school one in this entire wave here. But not too shabby. A very, very interesting line. Uh, Plague could be the sleeper of the set. And around $20 price point, man, that's a winner to me. This really does feel good for $20 uh, or so. $20, 22 whatever it is. Uh, looks really, really good here. So that's Plague Spawn. What are your thoughts on Plague Spawn? You here for it? You picking this one up? You playing the long game? You never heard of them, so you're passing? I guess I'd understand all those answers, but let me know your answer in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some and tons of Spawn unboxings this entire wave. Uh, to tell you the truth, we're unboxing all these guys here on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And just let me know your your thoughts down below and don't forget about the patreon channels for early access to videos like these bonus contents giveaways q a's you name it a lot going on over the patreon and best of all you do support the channel you can also support the channel over at prowrestlingtees.com and don't forget to hit me up on social media sir paul 64 is where you're going to find me on twitter and you'll find me on instagram at the underscore kyle underscore peterson so for plague spawn and nightmare spawn 2 i am kyle and i'll see you guys all real soon